Hello everybody, welcome to Blue Marble Science. Well, the quantum eraser can't seem to decide which horizon we actually see. Tell you what, how about some more black swan foolishness? We'll make this one a quick one. Warning. Severe facial and monitor damage alert is in effect. Get out those oven mitts. Move the monitors back out of punching range. And let's light this dumpster fire and roast us another swan. Quantum Pinocchio has been all over the place lately trying to resurrect his dead swan and he just continues to say stupid things. He hasn't been able to figure out that that swan has been dead for a while. Let's listen to an example of one of uh, QE's really silly ideas. D-E-D, -E -D, dead. You don't know what refraction is, ballers. After five years, you don't know it. None of these make any sense. They have nothing whatsoever to do with the black swan photo or the argument. By the way, the friggin' horizon doesn't ever loom. Ever, ever, ever. Now, QE has to say that because if the horizon actually does loom up, that shoots his black swan argument right in the head. That completely explains that observation on a day when the refraction is extremely high. This comes from Where's Wally. He's just done a video and I want you guys to go visit Where's Wally and watch this. He does an excellent job. Just briefly, this is a picture, two pictures actually, made from exactly the same location but on two different days. Notice anything about the horizon? You want to tell us again, Quantum Pinocchio, how it is the horizon can't loom up? There's Wally's uh, channel name and a link to the YouTube video, and I'll put that in the description for you. Number four, some white swans. Uh, this is a photo off a video again and from BMLSB69. This is two months after the black swan photo was taken. This was taken in December. As you can see, we have a bunch of shenanigans going on, atmospheric shenanigans and ocean tides, swells. There's a lot of issues here. This does not impact the argument, the modus tollens, one iota. That's why I want every flat earther, if they're up against a baller, to make sure they restate the argument. Once the argument is stated, then you won't hear anything about what's going on in this picture or anything about the oil platforms. There's a reason, there's a method to my madness. Get them to restate the argument. It's not unreasonable request, right? The next one, like I said, this photo right here, um, on closer inspection, this horizon is right at the base of the oil platforms. And he is at, uh, I mean, the first oil platform, uh, platform Hill House. Like I said, on closer inspection, he was standing out. BMLSB69 was standing up when he took this photo. So the horizon should be at 2.73 miles. Well, the horizon right here, I don't care what's going on back here with these oil platform, with this oil platform. I could care less. It could be doing cartwheels. I don't care. My argument is about the horizon. Oh, pay no attention to that man behind the curtain. Right? The horizon is up to the base of this platform at 6.2 miles. You got a big problem. Because the horizon should be at 2.73 miles. Notice there's only one horizon. Again, does this observation debunk the number one globe killer? No. No. It doesn't do anything to it. Nothing. Zero. There's a good reason why you don't want to talk about the habitat platform on the left, QE. It's because half the damn thing is being hidden by the curvature of the Earth. But we don't even need to talk about that. We can talk about Hill House on the right. Now you're trying to say that all of Hill House is visible, but you didn't show us anything. I'll tell you what, let me help you out. Here's what Hill House really looks like. 
Now, Curie, pay attention. From that lower walkway, I would say about two-thirds of the leg structure is being obscured by the horizon. Tell you what let's do. Let's put this in the Walter Bislin curve calculator and see what we come up with. Here you go, Kiwi. Observer height, I think, is about two feet. You said the guy was standing up, but clearly he is not. The target distance is 6.2 miles, and the hidden height would be 10.2 feet. We've already figured out that that lower platform is around 17 feet off the water. So, you know, tides could change things a bit. But still, 10 feet of 17 feet, yeah, it's roughly two-thirds, pretty much exactly what we saw. What do you think about that, Pinocchi Doodle? Number five, this is a new one. The Q is a straw man. We don't believe that from the ballers. All right, let's go up and take a look. So the Q in this argument is a straw man. Here's the Q. So let's go through the P first. If the Earth is a sphere with a radius of 3959 miles P, then every horizon distance measurement must be no more than 1.225 times the square root of the observer's height in feet Q. That's a geometric horizon. This isn't a straw man, folks. I don't care what you believe. This is the geometric, geometric constraints of your sphere. Well, Quantum Eraser, you've pulled out every kind of definition you could come up with for horizon. So let's straighten that out before we go any further. We only have two horizons that we talk about. One is the geometric horizon that we can calculate with that formula which does not include any refraction. It's an interesting number, but it's totally useless to us when we're trying to evaluate a photograph or a video. We need to talk about the actual horizon, the visible horizon, the one you can see. I don't care what you call that, but that's what it is. So let's try this modus tollens. I still need you to come up with an answer for this. If the Earth is flat, P, then the actual horizon, you know, the one we can see, must be behind any visible object, Q. The visible horizon is not behind distant visible objects on a normal day, not Q. Therefore, the Earth is not flat, not P. Look at the little diagram. If I'm looking at that oil rig and I can see that oil rig and it is sitting on a flat surface, I have to be able to see beyond it. The horizon has to be beyond it and slightly above it from my perspective. It could not possibly work any other way. And the only thing that would limit the horizon I see would be visibility perhaps. Work on this one, Kiwi, because this is the death of your black swan and your flat earth right here. Hey, thanks for watching, folks. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons if you did. There's a link to the Patreon. I'll put that up in the description, too. And I guess we'll see you guys on the next one. Hey, Gladys. We're out of here.